friends happy Saturday um, today I figured I'd do a little skincare video yes you are seeing boxes there is a stitch fix box and a Natalie attired box we will be doing those today too we'll at least be doing the stitch fix today um, so I have some skincare products that came in for me to review from Octoly and so I'm going to show them to you first item we are going to use is the Saturday skin I'm excited. Look at the cute little pink rubber ducky. Oh my God, he's so cute. And it says, this gently rubs the dullness away. It's packed with papaya and bromelain to help remove impurities. It says, cleanse and pat your face, your dry, pat dry your face. Gently apply to the face and rub in a circular motion for one minute. Rinse clean with warm water. Maybe use once or twice a week. So I think this is sort of like an exfoliator. Um, but it does say to wash your face first, so I'll be back. I'm gonna go ahead and get my face washed. I was thinking that this did it, but it doesn't, it sounds like this is an exfoliator that you use twice a week. So I'm gonna wash my face, I'll be back, and then we'll try this out. Okay, the face is clean. I did wash it with the Glam Glow Bubble Cleanser that we got in our um, one of our boxy terms recently. And um, here is our little rubber, oops, our little rubber ducky and in case I didn't mention this Saturday skin did come complimentary from Saturday skin and through Octoly program I will have my Octoly link below if you are a YouTube creator and you want to know more about it feet please feel free to ask but it's a way for uh, companies to collab with you and usually you get the product in exchange for a review on Instagram uh, we don't get paid or anything like that so I am going to try this out um, you also get like a free store you can select what you want and then either the brand accepts or denies your application um, Saturday skin approved it and let's see what this says it's a refining peel gel so we're gonna cleanse all right apply to the face and rub in a circular motion and rinse clean with warm water which I have warm water right here so I want to show you the consistency of this. Maybe. Oh, there's probably a thing on there. Silly Terry. <laughs> That's not going to help you, is it? I'm having some issues too. I woke up and I can feel that there's like a sty or something below my eyelid and it hurts really bad and I'm getting something starting on my lip. Uh, so I'm going today. I'm going to get some medicine take care of all that. Try to get it before it pops up. So here it is. It's like you can see it's sort of like a gel. We're going to... Oh, look at that. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got little blue... See that? There you go. Little blue dots in it. I don't know how much you need to use of this. So I'm just going to use this much. And you put this on your skin while it is... After it's clean and, and it's dry. So I can feel the little granular motions in here. I'm gonna need more for my forehead. I think it's peeling like my skin off. I think what I'm feeling is that it's taking the dead, it's peeling off your dead skin. I'm gonna show it my fingers in a minute. It's kind of gross, but it's also quite satisfying. You can kind of see it all peeling up on my skin. Look at my hands. So I don't know if that's like all dead skin or what. If it is good, cause I could use some brightness. Let's brighten the skin up. Let's take 10 years off. Just scrub away till you get 10 years off your face. I don't really think I can. I feel like that's plenty of scrubbing. My fingers are going numb. All right. Yeah, look at that. It's kind of gross. Kind of gross. Okay, I got water down here. And I'm just gonna wet this towel and wipe it. Start wiping my face off. And we'll see what we got. But this is definitely not an everyday item that you use. This is a twice a week, it says. This is good too. What I found if you use these peels. If you've got like raised areas on your skin that you 
that just aren't coming off. Like I used to have a spot right here and it was so annoying. Um, now I have spots over on the side, but um, I don't know what they were. I don't really know what they were, but they, um, they wouldn't come off. And when I started doing things like peels and exfoliating and dermabrasion, they started to come off. So I'm gonna clean them up this other side and get some clean water and do a, one more final rinse. Looks like my nose is red. Maybe it peeled some of my nose off. But yeah, when I started doing peels and all that stuff and dermabrasion and it took some of that like built up, whatever that was, it built up skin, it took it off. I greatly appreciated it. All right, I think that's good. I'll just pat dry. Get my little rubber ducky. He's so cute. He's gonna be my friend. Okay. This can feel super, super clean and super soft. Okay, so now after you, and this is part of why I did this, after you do something like that, your skin is fresh and clean, but you also probably stripped it. You probably stripped it of some moisture and some natural oils. And so you're gonna wanna put that back in. So I have two other products. These, all these products came from Octolate. So the next thing we're gonna use is the Scream, 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 Laneige Cream Toner, Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. This says it's from normal to dry skin. I really have um, probably combo skin. And it says its benefit is softening and intense moisturizing and simplify your routine. Two in one hybrid softens like a toner and hydrates like a moisturizer. And does it, I think you do this first. And you can, it looks like you can repeat this two times and as dermatologist tested and this lasts for 12 months. So um, I have some Laneige moisturizer too that I've gotten that I like. It's kind of a water-based moisturizer. So you can put this on once or twice. We're gonna put it on once because I also have a moisturizer and an eye cream to put on. Um, this is really interesting. I'm gonna shake it up. It's kind of got like a milk consistency. It's very, very watery. So I don't know like, if it's gonna come out too much in my hands. I'm excited to try this. So we're gonna take the little cap off. This time we'll get the little thing off of here. Okay, so it does look like it's got a tiny little squeeze tube. Okay, so it drips out like this. I've got some in my hand and then you're just gonna take this and pat it into your skin. We're gonna let that dry. Now I will tell you, after using that mask and putting this on, it's stinging a little bit. Not much, just a tiny, tiny little bit. You might wanna wait a few more, you know, like a few minutes after doing the peel. Um, so again, this is by Laneige. Again, this was also from Octoly and, um, and Laneige that was gifted to me. And let's see if it says anything else about this. Avoid contact with eyes, um, which, and then a lot of stuff in different languages. So I'm not really sure. Oh, here we go. Cream blending technology. So it says that this combines an intensive moisturizing cream with toner by micronizing the molecules for stabilization in a water-based formula. New cream in toner formula keeps skin well moisturized without the need for both a toner and a moisturizer. So we don't need a moisturizer, but I'm gonna use one today because I have it um, because this takes the place of both. And then it says white leaf tea water can only be obtained in small amounts through the shade cultivation and cold brew process. Rich amounts of amino acids reinforce the skin's moisture barrier, helping dry skin look healthier. Very, very cool. So it feels really good on my skin now. It's a little sticky, nothing crazy, but it feels good. So we're getting a nice base before we put any kind of makeup on. Um, also, we have the eye cream. Um, you guys know, you've seen me get some of the different Innisfree items through Octoly. This time I got an eye cream and a different type. I think this is lavender, oh, orchid infused. Um, this is like a day cream. And this one says early action multitasking eye cream with orchid, orchid elixir 2.0. Helps strengthen, firm, smooth, nourish, and brighten the look of the delicate skin around your eyes. And 
Um, I have purchased several of the other Innisfree items, or not purchased, been gifted through Oculi. I really like them, and I was running out of my moisturizer, and I always like eye cream, so I saw this duo, and I was like, I'm gonna get that because I'm running out of the other moisturizer. I'd be so, so much of it. Here's what the skin cream looks like for your eye. I don't really smell too much. It's not heavily scented, which is fine because I don't really think your face products and creams need to be. You need such a little bit of this that I, like that's too much, um, that this jar should last you like forever and a day. And you're gonna, it's a thick eye cream. It's, I mean, it's, it's impressive. So we're gonna put that all underneath the eye and then we're gonna do the other one. Again, I just grabbed too much. It's hard. I just dug my finger and just very little. It's like rubbed it over the top and too much comes out, but it's okay. And I'm just sort of going up here. I don't know if this, the orbital part of your eye, but I'm just sort of doing it. So there's the eye cream. I wonder what orchid elixir is. That's what it says it has. I'm guessing it comes, oh, it comes from the orchid. I was trying to see, there's a story of the Jiju orchid here. It's extraordinary ability to endure even the frigid cold. The rare Jiju or orchid blooms with antioxidants, flavonoids, and vitality, making it effective in anti-aging skincare. We extract active ingredients from every part, the root to the petal, to create Orchid Elixir 2.0, a highly concentrated active complex that helps address early signs of aging to reveal a youthful glow. Well, good. Go work on my aging. There is the product. That is a very big jar of eye cream, a very big jar. You get one full ounce in here. That's a lot, that is a lot. I will have all the links to all of these products that I'm showing are Saturday, the Saturday Skin. I'm excited to use this more, the Laneige. This is really interesting to me that it's a two-in-one sort of toner and moisturizer. And then also this is the, the cream and it has the same story on it um, the same cream that they use for your eyes or the orchid elixir they used in this cream and here you get 1.69 full ounces of this and then it also says that there is not not only the orchid elixir 2.0 but it has natural hyaluronic acid which is great great for moisturizing the skin um, and peptides from the jiju soybean which helps strengthen firm smooth nourish and brighten the look of skin Okay, let's do some firming, smoothing, nourishing, and brightening. I'm excited about this. I don't know, let's see if this one has a scent. This has a little, okay, this is much water, it's much more like of a water-based, usually when there's hyaluronic acid in a cream, you will see that it's 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 more of a water type of a um, moisturizer, a water-based moisturizer. These always feel so amazing on the skin. Something's happening to my um, eyes. I can feel the under area of my eye sort of like tingling or tightening, which I'm happy about. So this is what I would do for normal, a normal skincare. The only other step that I will take is um, putting sometimes a oil but because I had two moisturizers in between the Laneige and this, the toner and this, I did not put any oil in my skin. And even if you have oily skin, you can still add oils to your skin. I don't know if you guys know that. Okay, so there is our basic skincare. I'm excited. Let's see how our skin does with this over makeup, like or under makeup. We're gonna put makeup on over this today. Um, so again, just a recap, and again, these are all going to be below for you. So I can hold all four of them for you. These are the four items that we did for our skincare today. My skin feels good. Um, I can tell you this definitely took all of the dead skin off my face, and it felt like a baby's butt afterwards. Too graphic? I don't know. Baby's butts are cute, I think. I would kiss my little baby's butts when they're clean, of course. So anyway, here is the products we used. Um, so I am going to go ahead and clean up. I do have some other things, some mail and stuff I want to show you before we even get into any skincare. We'll do the skin or we'll do the um, makeup and, and video number two. But I do have some things that came in the mail that be, I'm going to let this sort of drench into my skin and I'm going to show you my mail. Hold on. All right, guys, so before we get into some of the products, I wanna share with you a fundraiser that is near and dear to my heart that I am doing. 
Um, as you guys know, we have three cats and two dogs. And up the street from me is a shelter that is a nonprofit, and it's called Schmitty's Cat Shelter Cat Rescue. It's just for kitties. At any given time, she has over 80 cats and kittens in there. She even has some feral cats that have been trapped that were pregnant that she is helping as well. Um, they do have a catch and release program for the cats that are wild and they will get them neutered, fixed, and all their shots, and then they release them back to their feral community. The ones that are domesticated, they are also given all their shots and given gotten fixed, and they are adopted out by families that want cats and kittens. Um, she gets a lot of special cases. She's gotten abused animals. She's gotten abandoned animals. She has ones that don't have an eye. She's got ones that have a hole in part of their body or they have been hit by a car and she nurses these babies back to health and she gets them homes. She heals them and gives them homes. She has transformed many, many lives. Um, I would like to get some footage if I have an opportunity today. Maybe I can stop by and see if she'll let me take some pictures and insert some footage into here for you guys so you can see the shelter. It's not very big. They need resources. They need cat food. They need cat litter. They need a lot. They need money for shots and, and um, vet care. It, it's a massive, massive job that she has taken on. So um, I decided with my Jewel Scent products, we had the opportunity to do a fundraiser. So 10% of all the Jewel Scent orders placed will go to Smitty's Cat Shelter and Rescue. Um, I'm going to show you some of the products you can get from Jewel Scent that I have that just came in to give you an idea if you would like to help. The fundraiser link will be below. I don't remember how long the fundraiser is, but I will put it, we, it's a max of two weeks and I had already started it, so it will be down below like the fundraiser ends on such and such date, and I will let you know how much we raised for the, for the shelter, okay? So some of the newer products that have come in are these um, really wonderful creams. They're like hand and body butter creams. This one is Orange Blossom and this one is Fresh Pear. Now, both of these, I'm going to go ahead and open Orange Blossom. Um, both of these do have rings on the inside that are value at least, I think these are $40 rings or higher in here. I could be wrong on that. They might be $20 rings and higher. But this is um, Kapuka Butter and Moringa Oil, and these are made in the USA. Mm, oh gosh, it smells so amazing. Are these the ones with the rings in them? Yes, yeah, somewhere in here is a ring. It's sort of kind of the stuff has sort of fallen to the side from shipping. But this is a fluffy, wonderful, wonderful hand cream. And this one smells like, I can already smell it. It smells like a dreamsicle, like, or a creamsicle, like an orange creamsicle. That's what this one smells like. This smells amazing. Ooh, I could put this all over my body. That smells really good. So that is Orange Blossom. These are new kind of scents for the summer that just came out. And then we also have Fresh Pear. I suspect this probably smells really awesome too. Let's see. Oh my gosh, this one smells better. I didn't think anything could smell better than that orange, but Oh my gosh, this, I can't even tell you how much this smells like a pear. Put this one on my other hand. Oh my goodness, and this is so creamy and so wonderful. This smells amazing. I mean, it smells like the, it smells like, not like a mild pear, like a very, very strong pear scent, but it, like fresh and clean and wonderful. also kind of reminds me of a scratch and sniff sticker from when I was a kid. Oh, those smell wonderful. So that is Fresh Pear and Orange Blossom. Um, so these are two body creams that you can get. There are rings in here that you can find. Uh, when you find them, they are um, appraisable. You take the code, you go on the website, you put go to the appraisals part, put the code in, and it will tell you how much your ring is worth. And you could win items that are... Um, up uh, like uh, the rings and stuff can probably be up to a hundred bucks but if you get a golden token then you've won something more you redeem your token and you can get something in the thousands so all right so then we have a couple new cbd oil items that came our cbd line is called eponies 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 i don't know it's called this i don't know how to say it this is cbd oil uh you put this under your tongue for 60 to 90 seconds and then you swallow it this is mint 
and it is very highly concentrated. This does not have any THC in it. This will help with depression. It will help with body aches and pains and general overall just health and well-being. Um, it's really supposed to help with aid in the like any kind of pain that you have it's supposed to help with especially if it's muscular pain that's really gonna or arthritis that kind of stuff it's really gonna help with that this is 500 milligrams of pure CBD oil this is highly concentrated highly expensive um, it is about $95 on the website it is expensive guys however um, it works I used it last night and it works if you have joint pain arthritis pain, muscle pain, it works. So um, a lot of the ones we see are like 250 milligrams. This is 500 milligrams. So if I can get it to focus. It says 500 milligrams on here, but it, I see it's not focusing. I don't know why my this camera doesn't focus ever, but but this is um, this is up on the website for sale now under the CBD and here we go and it comes in a box like this, okay? The next item that we have is, um, this is the, I think there's a bath bomb. Yeah, it's called, this. now these are Illume. This is the Illume. We have Happy, we have Cheer, we have um, one that's like a sleeping one. This is 100% made with essential oils, nanoparticles, THC-free, full spectrum CBD extract. These only have 25 milligrams in the bath bomb, so you just put these in your water and you lay back and enjoy, and if you have achy muscles, it, it's enough to help with that. So I just wanted to show you the bath bomb. Oh, this one's got like really like little bits of like flowers and rose petals and stuff in it as well, which is also great for the skin, essential oils, and the CBD oil. This one kind of smells like rose. That's exactly what it smells like. So this is um, called a loom. This there's a lot of different ones up there you can get. So if you if you want the one with the rose petals, it, it is called a loom. So there's that. We use those a lot here when we're just achy. We use the CBD bath bombs here. These are not that expensive, so you can go pick those up fairly inexpensively. All right, so then I also have two, I think two candles or something that I ordered that came in. Let's see what these things are. All right, usually these are candles, so I have two of them. The candles are wonderful. I, you guys know I'm always burning our candles. They're 100% soy, well no, they're a soy coconut blend, uh, wax blend, which is a good blend. They clean, they burn clean all the way down to the very, very bottom. They're just wonderful. I think this one might be one of my essential ones that doesn't have a ring in it. Yeah, this is some of our essential line. So the essential line is cheaper because it does not have jewelry in it. Cherry Blossom is one of my very favorite scents. So I order these because I absolutely love the scent. And this is one of my very favorite scents. It's just It just is. It's a beautiful candle, Cherry Blossom. Now you can buy these with the rings inside and they're a little more expensive, but I just choose to buy them without because I have so many little rings I don't really wear them all, and nor do I need them. So I just save the money. And then when you're done with these glasses, you can peel the sticker off and you can use these as a drinking glass for like whiskey, vodka, orange juice, mimosas, if you want an alcoholic beverage. I feel like I kind of need one, but anyway, <laughs> there's that. So that's Cherry Blossom. This has been my favorite. This has been like a, one of the ones that's been in our line for a long time and I really like it. It comes back every year and I always get them when they come out for the summer because Cherry Blossom's one of my faves. All right, and I don't even remember. Here's another one. All right, the dogs are getting rowdy. They went out twice already. They do not need to go out. They're just being brats because I'm home and they want to just keep going outside because they want to bark at our neighbor. Oh, looks like I just ordered two. Now, I told you I like these. I keep ordering these because I want to have them in stock and they're not in stock year round. So when they come in stock, I usually stock up. So there's those. And then I have one more thing from Jewel sent here. And I think this is our monthly, um, like around the world, like monthly subscription box that we have. This, this you can get, I think that's what this is. Yeah, we'll see. Um, go lay down, go lay down. You're being bratty, go lay down. You're both standing here looking at me and making noise. Chopper, go lay down. I absolutely know he doesn't need to go to out, out. He just is being nasty. All right. This, oh no, this is something different. 
Oh, I can smell it. Oh, before I even open this box, I can smell it. Ah, one of these is for you guys. So this is, um, I ordered these for the fundraiser. So I'm giving one of these bath bombs away in watermelon slush. These are new bath bombs that came out. I ordered a couple for me, and then I have one to give to somebody. Now this will go to anybody who places an order will be entered to win this cute little amazing bath bomb. It's so adorable. Wait till you see it. Fuck. Oh, and it smells just like watermelon, guys. It smells amazing. Are these ones with rings in them? Yes, but I think they all have size six in them. I'll look and see. So you might have to give this away if it doesn't fit, but I want you guys to be able to enjoy the bath bomb. It's wonderful, wonderful bath bomb. So I am giving one of these away. Anybody who orders for our, for our fundraiser will be entered to win one of these little bath bombs. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Um, I think they are probably all the same size. I, should, I don't know why I did that. I should have ordered different sizes. Probably because I didn't want to be left with sizes that didn't fit me. But I never really wear the rings anyway. They're just sort of a fun extra. So th that's all I have for Jewel Scent. So that's our Jewel Scent stuff. And then I do want to share this. Um, and this. This came from my friend Robin from Robin's Closet. And I will put her YouTube channel down below as well. She sent me something because she wanted me to do some looks, some eye looks. And I'm going to use these today. So she sent me some brushes from BH Cosmetics, Back to Brazil brushes. Look at how cute and beautiful they are. And then she sent me the palette, uh, Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette. I'm going to open up the palette. And then also came with it is... Stellar lash, which we'll use this on our eyelashes today, too. So we're gonna open this up and I'm gonna show this to you These are some stunning bright colors. I think she might have gotten the same one so she could kind of follow along So if you have this you can um, follow along with my tutorials Or my eye looks and then inside you have a great big mirror and then also look at you've got all your beautiful colors You've got pinks reds orange yellows greens blues and purples and like some dark blacks and stuff and you got some browns You've got two more highlighters and a black down here. Absolutely stunning colors. You do a rainbow eye, you do a green eye, a blue eye, a burgundy eye, a pink eye, a red eye. I mean, all kinds, yellow, green. Um, we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to show you guys some looks with this. I'll probably do one today and then I'll do some more in another video. We'll do a couple, video, a couple with it. And then I didn't open these yet. These are the brushes. Nice. Here they are. They come all packaged in beautiful and rainbow colors. Really gorgeous. I will definitely get in and use these today. I love new brushes. I really love new brushes. All right. Let me show you guys what we got. Okay. This looks like a little shader brush. This brush is really good for like under your eyes for like getting in there and sort of doing an under eye look. This looks like a blush or a highlighter brush or a contour brush. I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, but you can do a highlight, probably do contour with it. It's kind of soft. I'm thinking highlight with this one. This is an all over powder brush <laughs> or a um, blush brush right here. So you can do blush if you want to just do this, or you can just do like an all over, just really great like powder, powder brush with this. Then we have another sort of blush brush here. And here's another one. You can use it for whatever you want. Those are kind of the big brushes. And then, the, except I showed you the one small one. Here's a blending brush. This is where you come in your crease and you're gonna do your windshield wiper. Oh, these are soft and really nice. That's gonna be great. All right, then this one. All right, this is an angled hard brush. So this one, you can make a wing with these, like this. You can stamp out a wing here and stamp out a wing here, and it can help you make a wing. You can use these to carve out on your into your eyebrows. You can also use these to stamp really close to the bottom here and make like an eyeliner. That's another thing you can do. 
All right, this looks like a packer and crease brush. So this, you can use this right in here. And you can also use this sort of pack on the lid. This, this is where I have a pain right here. There's something right there in my eye. This is more of a flat brush. And again, this is great for like your topper colors to come in here if you're coming in with it this wet um, and you're wetting the shadow, that works great for that. And then this is a smaller blending brush, so you might wanna use the bigger blending brush on the big area and then the smaller one below that right in here and you can blend in the smaller areas. You should look for brushes that match the size of your eyes. So if you have very, very little eyes, you're gonna to want to go very, get little brushes. So thank you, Robin, I'm so excited about this and we're gonna get started and uh, we will do an eye look on all of that. And then I have one more thing that came in that I thought I'd show you guys. I think this is from ColourPop, yes it is. It says made in LA. I don't remember what came in, what I ordered, so we're gonna see. ColourPop ships really quickly, their products are very affordable. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, what did I order in here? There's a bunch of single shadows in here that I don't... It says you're very cute on here. Let's see what I ordered. Bundle Pretty pa Please palette and Bundle Here Comes the Sun palette. And... Okay, so I didn't know I had to put all these in myself. Holy smokes. All right, so first of all, Here's a Super Shock blush in here. This is in the color Growth Flirt. That looks pretty. There we go. That looks pretty, it looks dark. But you can add these light. You don't have to go like super dark. You can go in with a light hand and have a beautiful, it's almost like a terracotta cherry look. That's pretty. And then I'm gonna show this to you. I'm gonna just sort of hold this up and we won't go through all of these. I'll show this to you when I put them together. So all of these loose shadows are in here. And then I'm gonna take them out for a minute. Does it tell me which ones they go in? No, like they're all mixed in, but there are two different, there's two different like um, types. So I'm, I'm assuming like the purples all go in one shallot, palette and these all go in another palette. So um, I'll figure that out. Hopefully there's some kind of directions or something. Let me take all these out. So many eyeshadows, goodness gracious, okay. And then there's two empty palettes here. There's this one. This just little ColourPop one for some of those. And then the bigger one. I thought they came in the palette already when I bought it, but they don't. This is beautiful. Look at the succulents on here, that is gorgeous. And there's the back. And again, you're just going to it's magnetic. You're just gonna pop those out and put them in here and make your own palette. So I will get working on that and then I'll show you guys the finished palette when I pop back in and then that's gonna be the end of the video. So that'll be it. And then the next video is gonna be getting ready with me. So stay tuned. Bye. Okay, I thought I'd show you real quickly the shadows. Um, so they did send me an extra Renegade, but they shorted me two on the big one. Um, there was a checklist and I said to know which one went, which which shadow went with which, but I'll show you what I have. Um, the two I'm missing are Pinky Promise and Stay Golden. Um, so this is the palette. It's beautiful. Minus the two that I'm missing. So um, I, I'm gonna contact them about, about that. They sent me one extra one of this and they shorted me two on that, so. All right, and then the other one, everything was here for this one. This is a fun palette, girls. Oh my gosh, look at all that gorgeous glitter. So you got all your kind of like neutral colors and then you got your glitter. This is a fun, fun palette. We're definitely gonna be playing some with this. I think I have this color and it's really beautiful. Look at that. Um, I just took a tiny little bit. You're gonna need a glitter glue with this to, yeah, let me show you. You're gonna, look at that. Oh my God, it kind of pulls sort of orange so beautiful, but you do need a glitter glue for, for that on your eyes. So, all right, so that's gonna be a whole lot of fun to play with, and we will go ahead and use this blush, this new blush today in Growth Flirt. I heard this is a good blush, so um, that's it. Stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed sort of this little skincare routine and opening my mail with me. I'll see you guys all soon in the next video, which will be a get ready with